Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. We are here at the Universal Orlando Resort. And today we've got somewhat of an eventful afternoon <laughs> planned. Today we're gonna try some of the holiday treats that they have throughout the parks. Yeah. We're also gonna ride Shrek and Mummy one last time before they close down next month. And then we have something extra <laughs> special planned. Yeah. We are going to ride Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the story is one of our viewers and supporters, he got me pretty good. <laughs> he sent us a message on Instagram offering me $50 for St. Jude's to make a little donation. If I rode Fast and Furious, he said there just had to be photographic evidence of me on it. So I can't just say we rode it. So yeah, we'll, we'll even get video evidence of it. <laughs> but we are gonna start today off with some snacks and mistletoe pines. We should probably explain what mistletoe pines is yeah, in you, case you weren't aware. Yeah, we said we were at Universal Orlando. We didn't just like go somewhere else. <laughs> mistletoe pines is a little like pop-up experience here in CityWalk. Yep. They have like some of the holiday treats. They've got bars, they've got merchandise. And of course, it's all Christmas themed. One of the greatest parts about being an adult is when you have a tough decision and you can't pick one, you just pick three. Can't really both get in frame. Like these seats are like <laughs> really far un apart. Oddly far apart. <laughs> like barely touch it. But why don't you tell them what we ended up getting? All right, I'm gonna read it off my phone so I don't get this wrong. Uh, we got the cookie butter Santa puff. We also got the frozen hot cocoa and the gingerbread ornament. Oh my gosh, I I just want to like dig into all of these right now. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> We just finished up with those three desserts. Happy to say we are still members of the Clean Plate Club. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite? My favorite had to be that red gingerbread ornament. Oh yeah. I, it, it was good. It was really, really flavorful. So what was your favorite? Uh, I would say probably the same. The only thing I will say about all of them, um, maybe it was just because we got three of them. Yeah. They needed some like different texture. They were all yeah. like the same like mousse type. Yeah texture. I agree. Like you needed something with like a little crunch or something mm -hmm. like that. But whatever, they were still all delicious. But we are about to head into studios and jump on those rides. It's kind of odd. <laughs> I'm almost never like not excited about riding 66% of the rides I'm about to jump on. So let's go do this. <laughs> I'll be honest, I am somewhat excited about riding these rides just because it is for a good cause. I am always up for if you want me to do something for a good cause, or if you just want to challenge me to something, <laughs> I'm always up for a good challenge. So as you're making your way into studios, the first one of those rides that you come up to is of course Shrek 4D. So I, I guess we'll start there. Shrek 4D is closing permanently this January. So as of January 10th, this ride will be shut down forever. So I guess this will be our like final farewell to the big green guy. Thank you, President. It's really hard to believe that that was our last ride on Shrek ever. Yeah. It's just, it's just time for it to go. I mean, I it's absolutely adorable. Yeah, it's a super cute attraction. And like, there are all kinds of kids in there that were like screaming and having, having time, an yeah. awesome time. So we hope whatever replaces it is worthy. Yeah, I tell you what it is. Like what this really reminds me of as an attraction is it's kind of like a family member that comes over for the holidays. Like you love seeing them. <laughs> But sometimes it's just time for them to go home. <laughs> but with that, we are going to go ahead and go over to the ride that I am most excited about riding today, which is the Mummy. We are sad to see it go. Luckily, it's only temporarily. Yeah, it's just being refurbished. Yeah. Um, we're expecting this to take about six months. Yeah, six to eight months. But still, the Mummy is one of our favorite rides in studio, so that's going to be a long time that we don't get to ride this. As sad as we are to see Mummy shut down for six or eight months, however long it is, you never know with these things. <laughs> We've ridden it a couple of times this trip already and it just desperately needs it at this point. It is like, it seems like it's slowed down. I don't know, it just needs a refurb. Yeah, I mean, we knew that the graphics were struggling. They have been for a while, but the last time we rode it, it just seemed like it was a lot slower than we're used to. So we're excited to see all the changes that happen.
So that ride on Mummy actually didn't seem that bad. It didn't seem <laughs> slow. I mean, like the second half has been seeming more slow. Yeah. But when we rode it, um, like yesterday and the day before, it just seemed like the launch was off and like yeah. the, the first half of the roller coaster was just really. I, the only way I can describe it is slow. Yeah, that was one of the best rides we've had on Mummy in a long time. Yeah. Like, it almost felt like it doesn't need yeah. a Go refurb. Ahead. Universal, <laughs> just don't refurbish it. It'll be fine. We want to ride it in March. <laughs> no, it, it definitely needs it, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> no, no, like, if for nothing else, the animatronic in the beginning, he's just like, he's getting out, he's like, it's like he, it's so he, bad. He needs a little bit of love. A little bit. So, before we head over to. Uh, before we head over and do the last thing that we're needing to do, <laughs> we're gonna run over here and get a couple more little Christmas treats. Oh yeah. I am not trying to avoid this whatsoever. <laughs> this is not a detour. This is not keeping me from going over there. This is just this is just our natural path before we get over to that ride. Uh-huh. So here are some more of the holiday treats. We've been eyeballing a few of these, particularly that one. So yeah, we're gonna get us one of those milk and cookie cups. I think Anna's got her eyes on one of the not eggnogs. Oh yeah, I'm getting that fire dog. Okay. So we sat down over here by animal actors underneath like these little pavilion things. It's, guys, it's not because it's further away from Fast and Furious. It's, because, <laughs> it's, it's definitely because we're trying to get away from the music. You definitely can't hear any music in the background. It has nothing to do <laughs> with avoidance. But we are gonna go ahead and try these. We've been eyeballing this cookie cup the yeah. entire trip yeah they've even like sold out of the cups yeah. a few days so i'm glad that we got one yeah if you want one you might want to get it earlier in the day because yeah. they've sold out towards the end of the day both right. times um I'll, I'll take a sip of the eggnog i'm not i love eggnog i just don't necessarily like it with adult beverage in it <laughs> let's go ahead and get into that cookie cup so the first thing that they ask you when you order it is whether you want a cookies and cream straw or a strawberry straw. So we went with cookies and cream. I am so interested to try all of this. Okay, I'm like super impressed with this. I didn't think the milk would get that much of a cookies and cream flavor, but that was delicious. I can't wait for Tyler to try it and I can't wait to dig into this cup too. Okay. It does actually taste like cookies and cream, which kind of shocks me. I've been hearing people say like, oh, this doesn't really do anything for it. So I'm, I'm happy with this. The one thing that's kind of weird to me, it's a great idea. There was nothing that could be bad about this, but I'm like a big, I eat my cookies and then drink the milk. And this is kind of like the, under, like the upside down. That's the word I'm looking for. The upside down where you have to drink the milk and then eat the cookies. It's almost like I want some more milk after I finish this. I'm gonna try to bite this, it seems sturdy. <laughs> Go for it. It's like a well-built human. <laughs> oh no. Oh. It's a good cookie. It's the best cookie cup I've ever had. Is this like, do I have anything right here? Am I good? Am I good? I will, I'll take a little sip. I'm just, it's a little warm today. <laughs> Like milk was all enough. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Like it almost, yeah, it doesn't taste like you got alcohol in it. No, and I would say it's dangerous, except for the fact that it's too sugary to be dangerous. Like you couldn't drink more than one of those. I don't no. think. Challenge. <laughs> Send me a video of you drinking more than one of those in a day. Don't do it. You'll get sick off the sugar <laughs> way before the alcohol bothers you. Also, like, look at how thick, like we're at the bottom of the cup. Look at how thick that is. It's like a big, big thick boy cookie. Should we go for it? Should we go for it? Go for it. <laughs> so the difficulty of that last clip, um, yeah, I found the culprit. It's like a Fort Knox thick thing of chocolate that I couldn't bite through. Um, not even these chompers were a match for the three inches of chocolate. So we're out here in front of the prop shop over here in Universal Studios. <laughs> I promise this is the last detour before we go ride Fast and Furious. We got a text message while we were eating that cookie cup that piqued our interest. Yeah, we had a friend send us a picture of something over here in the prop shop that we might be interested in. So we're gonna head on in and check that out. 
here you're going to get two pockets and okay. I'm going to get one. Basically, your claim tickets is the same one as on this one. Okay. This is the one you'll show at the front gate. Well, I'm sorry, out in the pub at the <sighs> So, <laughs> that text message was like, hey guys, um, this just seems fitting for you to have. <laughs> uh, so, thank you. Matt over at Theme Park Bar for letting us know about that because um, yeah well, that's what we we need something like that for our little backdrop our studio yeah so we we did end up purchasing <laughs> that little Coke freestyle <laughs> the sign. freestyle it just it's very fitting yeah because we love the Coke freestyle machines yes uh, we promote it to everybody if yeah. people are like hey what's like one tip you can give us it's like it's like our Coke number one freestyle <laughs> yeah, those are our number one <laughs> tips so glad to have that luckily we didn't have to ship it we were afraid it was going to be too big to fit right. on the plane but i think it's going to be okay i'll just use it as a personal item <laughs> but yeah excited to have that in the videos coming up yes and now we're going to head on over to fast and furious and jump on the party i think we've got like four or five more no we don't okay. no we don't <laughs> okay i guess this is actually happening <laughs> it's for a good cause 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 let's go Absolute masterpiece. <laughs> I have been giving that a hard time and there's just nothing wrong with that ride. <laughs> no. So we just got off of Fast and Furious and yeah, thanks for the challenge, Mike. <laughs> um, Mike, we really appreciate it. Like there was no way I wasn't gonna ride it for $50 for St. Jude's, but that is honestly the first time I've ridden that thing in at least two years. It's been two to three years since I've <laughs> even attempted to get through that queue. For good reason. <laughs> Today actually was a great day. I know we rode a few things that we weren't excited about, or at least I wasn't excited about, but always a fantastic day when you're here at Universal Orlando. But with that, we are going to end today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know, when's the last time you rode Fast and the Furious? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. You can hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.